you guys are talking about like art is supposed to come naturally and that's true and all but isn't that just all the product of consuming a shit ton of like whatever the world gave to you and then now you're just expressing it in some way based on how it made you feel yeah dude nothing matters yeah okay <laughs> sit down yeah, yeah it's, it's you're totally right <laughs> no yeah you're totally right yeah, there's nothing to talk about it's yeah just, I'll just check. It's, 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 it's stupid we're, we're barking dogs how do you feel we were talking about criticism how do you feel about music critics I, generally they're, like, do they're you think fine that they, they don't affect me at all I mean like they, they, maybe they shine some people I, I liked Lester Bangs I used to read his writings a lot I loved it yeah, everyone's a critic so some people, some people are good at writing it like like being canceled or whatever. I think you can get canceled, but the people that sort of follow that mob mentality won't think for themselves anyway. Um, Dude, if somebody writes like like the piece of the year that you know just dissing my record, that's if that inspires them to write the best piece that they can, then more power to them. Yeah, I, I think it's detrimental though. People should just think for themselves. Well, I generally. don't. I don't read it. I don't read it. Um, but I have that song that's you pretty be popular. Allowed to listen to music if you listen to Anthony Fantano. Yeah, it's sort of criticizing Fantano, and I've um, I, I've heard he's not very fond of that song. But um, he, he's he's done pieces on both of you. I mean, he's reviewed both of your music. He's, um, he's but we don't have to call him out specifically. Turned but, on me. Yeah, you yeah. can't listen to. You can't say my name anymore. Yeah, but oh, he he's taking a stance on. All I was only too. his like favorite artist, and then and then oh, now wow. he's like he, he's like you know. Ariel's good. He's no, a bad it's like, person. It's like he can't, he can't support think it. for himself. Then, if he like, yeah, he if can't he, just say the music is good and all that other stuff uh, is irrelevant. But that strong. song isn't even about Anthony. It's about people that just sort of follow him, just mime all all the things he says, and then um, apply that to the way they perceive art or interpret it. And that, that's sort of my view on critics: is that everyone is a critic, and um, some people just hate on things for. For whatever reason. You know, th there's a sort of ongoing joke on um, channels like that where, oh, I didn't know what to think of this record until he came out with the review. Like, it's sort of like a joke. So but it is sad. It's like, why should that be a gatekeeper between you and what you like or you and what you think? Well, well when you got into stuff when you were younger, for instance, you didn't really rely on that stuff. You sort of like had like a different... That Kids sort of have a different... They don't read Pitchfork. It's only what... Uh, 27 year old adult children do like who think, that, who think that they're like still young and they still like like I have their finger on the pulse and they're still in the game no you're so beyond old that you don't even understand you just go sit go to your job you're not hip you're not you're too old you're done you're wrinkled you're fucking old I think it's like a blood memory thing too. Just accepting what's socially acceptable to fit in with the. They want to feel young. They want to. They want to figure have the right. But, but I, I think that what's great about like like the media, it, they take their cues from the kids, not the other way around. But that, that's the way it used to work. I don't know if that's the say if that's the case now, but it really might not be the case now. Actually, 